documenting. Um, awkward. Um, my mom sat at the edge of my bed. I blurred out in my Spanglish, Ma, soy gay. I wanted my declaration to be held in her arms, yet this time, this time, I wasn't like those times, it wasn't like those times in lullabies. My words were left to stumble out my lips. She didn't hold my hand. She looked at me. I wanted to hug her because I am, again, adding another layer to our complicated lives. Poor woman of color, undocumented, and now, quote unquote, gay. This math, my mom wasn't sure how to add. She's scared about how much more I have made it harder for myself to survive in this America. Mom, I understand. Mom, I fear the same things you fear. I am scared too. It doesn't help that the, this gay, queer language is foreign to her. This language was not meant to be spoken between mother and daughter. Lost in translation, I tried to break it down. Mom, I'm attracted to both men and women. I think she kind of gets it, but there's a confusion in her face. My broken Spanish is not helping. All the academic quotes and terms and books and terminologies go out the window because it means shit. Guarded in academia, we get stuck in a bubble, burst the bubble. And now that I have to talk to that one important person in my life, I am speechless. So here we are. Mom at the edge of my bed. My dad has not joined the conversation. Both try to follow along to my explanation. The only thing I get is, mija, it's okay. Hablamos otro día. I wanted more. Dad, dad, tell me, tell me more. And then I remember that it took me years to understand my own queerness. I can't rush the process with my parents. Until then, I search for more language, and they search for me every morning.